I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. Alright guys, welcome to the Intercontinental Coex in Seoul, South Korea of course. Um, I already checked in, you know, slept one night and then I decided to give you a room tour. Um, I stayed at the Intercontinental Grand, uh, I, I forgot, it was the Grand something, Polaris or Panaris? I think it was the Panaris. Uh, it's which is like five minutes away from here. I, I don't know why they opened up two intercontinentals right next to each other. Click on the video right here to check out the review for the Grand Panaris. Uh, I don't. I forgot if I'm pronouncing it right. So forgive me if I did pronounce it incorrectly. But right now we're here at the Intercontinental Coex. And let me show you guys. So when you walk in, you can already see that the floor <laughs> is green. So you're walking on like artificial turf, you know, which is very unique. You know, I, I haven't seen green flooring carpeting in, in any of my hotel stays, but they're trying to go for that really green look. You can see the bed frame is very um, green. Has a lot of trees and stuff like that. Uh, overall is very elegant. Uh, I'm not particularly found of green carpet. But, you know, whatever works, you know. People like different things. And then you got a nice lamp. Um, complimentary fruit, which I already ate an orange. A uh, nice little seat, you know, your basic lamps, you know, just the basic room. Um, nothing too fancy. Um, you got your, basically your standard uh, water boiler, some coffee machine right here that you can insert uh, right here and make some espresso or whatever you want. Got your complimentary free water, which is always nice because I drink a lot of water when I'm traveling. Um, and then you have the standard, you know, uh, closet. It turns on automatically once you uh, get close. And then the safe is really big. You know, this is this is not your standard size safe. It's it's huge. You know, it can fit. Look, let me give you an example. I don't know if I can carry this. Oh, dang, this fire extinguisher. <laughs> Look, this looks like a standard uh, fire extinguisher. Uh, and it can fit the whole fire extinguisher inside the safe. So it's pretty big. Uh, nice. And then you got your uh, umbrella. 
Um, if it rains. Oh, one thing I want to show you guys. Let me show you guys this. Um, they do include a pocket Wi-Fi. Uh, rental fee is about nine US dollar per day. And you can basically take this out in the city with you and get really good internet. Um, yeah. If you guys um, follow me and my hotel um, reviews, you know that some Intercontinental actually give you a uh, cell phone which include free data and everything so you don't have to even pay for to rent a pocket Wi-Fi so it's not consistent across uh, the intercontinental properties um, even even the Hotel Indigo that I stayed in Hong Kong gave a free cell phone um, with unlimited data so I thought that was nice I don't know why they didn't do it here but you know Maybe different countries, different costs. So now I want to show you guys um, the bathroom. Let me move this thing away really quick. All right. So let me show you guys. So here's the bathroom. Yeah. Pretty small and standard. You got your uh, sink, uh, some soap, which is consistent across intercontinental properties, dental kit, shaving kit, you know, all your basic stuff. Nothing out of the ordinary. Um, you got, you know, your shampoo and stuff like that. Uh, one thing that's new here in this. Since this is Korea, Asian country, they do have the the bidet, um, bidet, Japanese um, ash washing, butt washing, um, squirting gun in the toilet seat. So, <laughs> actually, actually, I kind of like it, but you know. Yeah, would I get one for my house? Mm, maybe not. But anyways, the shower very standard, just the stand, stand alone. Right here, no tub. No, actually, I lie. Tub is right here. You know, got lots of good towels. Uh, I would say what they did really well in this uh, in this shower is this thing is a beast. Ever ever seen a fire hydrant getting squirted out, uh, squirting out some water? This is like a fire hydrant. It, it shoots out water like no tomorrow, man. It, it was actually so hard that it felt uncomfortable, um, which I have to use the smaller one, which was just right. Um, some people like more pressure, but personally, I think. Um, too too much pressure kind of kind of hurts my skin, so yeah. So oh, one more thing I want to make a comment on is they they if you can see this one the shower door, it has a little groove on the bottom, so water doesn't drip all over the floor, you know. Instead, it's so smartly designed that water just flows back down and into the shower. So, when you get out of the shower, uh, it's not a, a huge mess from opening the door. So, good job on that part, intercontinental, good detail. Uh, yeah. Well, one final thing right now is nighttime. I'll show you guys the view, but it's not super great. Um, you know, maybe the definitely the the other Intercontinental had better city view than this one. Uh, sorry for the noise. Ah, uh, yeah. Let me here. Let me. I'm gonna turn off the lights really quick. Let me show you guys how how to turn it off. It's pretty cool actually. So they have this uh, master switch right here. Let me just 
press that and then everything turned off except the the lamp switch you have to actually just manually um, close it and then I have to close the other side as well I just want to give you guys a good look at the city without any reflection yeah it's kind of dark I don't know if I, I'll do some post editing to lighten it up a bit because it's not capturing that well on my camera Ah, there we go. I switched it to manual mode and was able to lighten it up a little bit uh, with the ISO. And yeah, this this basically looks like how I can see it with my actual eyes. So I'm not going to do any post editing to this thing. But pretty cool. In the morning, it was it was pretty nice. That black thing in the middle right here is basically a big giant park. So that's why it's kind of dark and the rest is uh, building lighting, uh, nothing, nothing extravagant like Hong Kong, uh, but this will do. So see the, there's some cars driving around, right now it's 2 a.m. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tour of the Intercontinental um, Coex room that I have. Um, it's pretty nice. I really like Intercontinentals. Uh, you know, the the pillow was actually very comfortable. I was able to sleep like a baby. So, thumbs up for the pillows. <sighs> Alright guys. I'll see you guys next time for more hotel experience tours. See you later.